Hello lovelies and welcome to the YouTube channel. So it's Chrissy back with you today and look what I have. For the first time in a long time I have a project life process video for you today. And yes you are reading that correctly that says week 12. Yes I'm up to week 12 and it is the last week in December. I know I'm very far behind but in my defense I got nothing. No I'm just that far behind. I'm I find I'm doing more 12 by 12 scrapbook pages, which is really quite cool, but I am pretty far behind. Now, I have all my photos on my computer in um, monthly format, and just last week I printed out all of November and December um, Project Life spreads, so I have the photos ready to go. I just need to um, just to get stuck into them, basically, and now it's the school holidays and Christmas is done. I've got about four or five weeks ahead of me where I think I can get this done. Problem is it's so hot now and it gets really hot out in my art room very quickly, even with the air conditioner. So I have, actually that's what I've done here. I've come inside to the dining room and I've just taken it over. I've brought some supplies with me and I have managed to set up a tripod, which is awesome because now I can video. Now that is where having a kit comes in handy because I don't have to bring any other supplies with me except my kit, uh, some adhesive, scissors, a few pens, maybe some bling, and that's it. So thankfully, having my kit in, the, in its own box, I just bring that with me so I don't have to bring all of my supplies inside. So this system is working well for me, so what I plan to do is go back and use some of the old kits as well and finally get my, scra um, my project life up to date. The best part about um, starting a new year is I tend to stay up to date for a few weeks so I can definitely get week one done so that'll be pretty cool. But anyway enough about my tragic attempt at staying up to date. This is the worst I've ever been honestly. But um, yeah so where am I? I am using the December kit. Yep. Yeah, we're in December. Oh, where's the year gone, people? I'm using the December kit, and this was back in March. So the sucky part about that is trying to remember the stories with the photos. That's where I find using my journal helps, and also Facebook. Um, I find that there's a lot of photos here, and I'm like, why do I have that in here? Go back to my Facebook page, and I realise, you know, the story behind it. Oh, look, we fell asleep on the lounge trying to watch the soccer. So, yeah, Facebook and my journal definitely help. So this was the week we had that really big cyclone come through. It was also the week before Will's birthday. His, his birthday party got washed out. We had beautiful weather for it, which is the uh, following week, week 13, I believe. But yeah, the three days leading up to it wasn't pretty. So um, I decided to use a uh, screenshot I had taken of a satellite image of the cyclone. And I thought I'd just use that as my, my title page. I, when I find I have too many photos, um, I try to use one of my photos as a title card. So I either use seven 4x6 photos and a title card, or if I use eight like I've done this week, I will um, try and use one of those photos as a title page. Now, the thickers I find I think are a bit dark, but um, in, my, in my album they actually don't look too bad. So I just kept it nice and simple. Week 12 right on the top of that photo, and then put the date, and then just uh, one of those tiny words from the ephemera pack, uh, that says fun times and that was my title card nice and simple so while i was gas bagging um i did one of the four by six slots down the bottom now i used a three by three by four photo in there because i wanted to do some journaling now sometimes you you've seen my po my um videos in the past i don't tend to have journaling spots i journal on my photos and in this case i had a photo and there was a story behind it that i wanted to include so i turned a three by four photo into a four by six space with some journaling and i just wrote about uh when my wardrobe collapsed in on itself so yeah that was fun and then i did leave a space for a journaling card and that was just to sum up um the kind of week it was with that massive cyclone and all the wet weather and um, I think one of the tiny words, um, no, one of the uh, ephemera pieces said wonderful day. So I just wrote on a piece of um, a, a strip of paper, not such a, or something like that. And then, yeah, it turns it into a cool little, not such a wonderful day type thing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So always think outside the box when you've got your ephemera too. Uh, that photo of me and Will up the top is one of my favorites. He's so photogenic, that boy. And I've just used one of the stickers from the sticker book and yeah, sweet snapshot. I don't think these hearts came in this kit. Um, 
if you've seen my plate of awesomeness you know I put all my bits and pieces in this little four compartment plate and at the end of the month I transfer my old kit into a 12 by 12 bag put it aside and then I put my new kit in my tub but if there's a few pieces that I still want to use like um, some wood veneer or uh, some just some little fiddly bits that I don't want to put away I want to use I'll keep them in that um, plate of awesomeness and I'll continue to use them in the new month so sometimes I do have a few things that um, aren't from this month specifically so I find that it's a good way to try and use up all my bits and pieces so moving on to the other side now we're really hammering through this now this side is pretty much all about um, all the art and craft we did getting ready for Will's birthday party. He had a Ghostbusters themed birthday party and of course you can't find anything Ghostbusters themed, especially not vintage Ghostbusters, not new Ghostbusters. So um, we had to make everything ourselves. So we made uh, proton packs for 25 kids. That was fun. Uh, we made a paper mache slimer with the help of the kids at his preschool. And yeah, so we pretty much made everything by hand. Um, wait till you see the photos I will definitely get around to scrapbooking that because um his birthday party was a lot of fun we actually bought a stay puffed marshmallow costume and his dad got all dressed up in that and the kids used their proton packs and the proton packs actually worked we managed to um get some silly string connected up to those so the kids went around uh ghost busting stay puffed which is really cool so I have to definitely show you that next week well next week spread yeah you know what I mean so this card here, now because it was a very arty, crafty kind of spread, I wanted to use something else. So if you if you get the mixed media kit, you would have known that we got a new stencil. Um, we have been, Steph has hooked up with an awesome, awesome um, Kate mixed media and she makes fantastic stencils. And the stencil we got, uh, when you get the stencils, um, they have this awesome example sheet behind it. And it shows you how the stencil can be used. So it's basically like a, a mini art print. So I decided to use it as a um, journaling card. So I've just cut it in half uh, to fit the 3x4. And yeah, I'm just putting my um, journaling strips down uh, to write on. And I've turned it into an awesome card. So yeah. Always look at your packaging, uh, your bits and pieces. Look outside, think outside the box. Because, you know, you never know what you can come up with. I'm just journaling how we spent the week getting our craft on. Um, that picture up the top uh, with all the bits of cardboard that I have already embellished, um, that is Will spray painting the proton packs. So we used a bunch of pizza boxes that I had a lot of thanks to kit clubs and online shopping. And we cut them down to size. We made all the other boxes, some toilet rolls, some string, hot glued it all together, which uh, the photo down the bottom that I'm working on now um, was taken just minutes before my hot glue gun blew up when I had only made one out of 25. So that was fun. And um, then we spray painted them black and uh, printed off some labels and put them all together. So that picture up the top there is Will spray painting those black. Will loves spray paint. He's a very art ch arty child. And this up here is actually our paint station. We have a spray paint station. Thanks to um, the Costume Squad on YouTube. Uh, Will loves, yeah, making DIY, DIY Costume Squad. It is, yeah. Will loves making DIY costumes. So much so that we ended up um, making our own paint station out the back on top of this old picnic table that we don't use. And, yeah, that's what we were doing. So I've just used um, that favourite in our happy place because that definitely is his happy place. So this little 3x4 picture here, hope no one takes offence, um, this was a picture I sent via the um, Kidaholics design team uh, Facebook chat. We have a chat that we all, we're all in and you know we discuss things, very rarely scrappy things but yes this was a reply to one of the lovely girls, I think it was Corinne and um, yeah, it turns out she actually screenshot it and sent it back to me so yeah had to document that lovely little photo there. So something I always grab out of my stash is some bits of bling and some little um, enamel dots, things like that. In this case, those little enamel hearts and some clear bling. And I just jazz up a few of my photos with that. And then my last photo that I'm going to embellish is this awesome picture my husband took of um, us, of me, trying to fix our paper mache, our slimer. His mouth just wasn't quite right. And he took a lovely photo of me and my mate Slimer. So, yes. So that's it for my spread. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye.